Wednesday. Welcome to class. I hope you're all ready for a fun little workout this evening. We're going to do some fun things with our hips and twists and really get our lower core going. Um, let's see, a couple of announcements first. Our music tonight is Angelica again, and uh, we'll have that information in the link below the video. I have my lovely helper, Nikki. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> here. And who are you? <laughs> and I'm Aaliyah. Welcome to my class. Good to see you all virtually. I think I'm getting used to this. I, I think I'm, I'm sort of, uh, I mean, I don't want it to be forever, but I'm okay with it. Hopefully you girls are too. Spread the word as much as you can. Share this. Talk about it. Reply. All those things. That gets us around. And um, there's still people out there that have come to class and don't know that it's online. So anyone that you think of, just share it. I keep reaching out. Um, a lot of people on Meetup. And there's still a couple in there going, oh, I didn't realize. They go, yeah, online. <laughs> That's what online meant. <laughs> So I reached out to a few more today, and um, hopefully we can get everybody back in class virtually. So um, the thing that I'm going to request is if you guys have any, can you let us know by thumbs up or hearts or anything like that, that you can hear okay, and if there's any issues with the sound or anything, just let us know, because I'm going to check on the comments every so often. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to actually go do that right now, and then um, uh, there was something else I was going to say. The, your classes are when? We have oh yeah, classes. so we've got this Wednesday night class at 7.30 and then we have a Saturday night class at 6 p.m. So I'm giving them twice a week and um, I think it'll keep us all dancing. It should be fun. And of course the class is absolutely free. Just uh, if you are able to donate via Venmo, we'll have that link below the uh, class information again. Alright? I think I've covered it. Yeah? Yeah. So, I hope you're all warmed up. It's also important that you do those warm-up videos, one or the other, before class, so you come here ready to dance. They're 10 or 15 minutes long. I have a beginning level and an intermediate level, so you can pick the one and get yourself all warmed up. We're going to move a little bit here, and then uh, I'll start the music, and then we'll get into our hip moves. Here we go. I think I'm going to go... And reverse it. 
upper body. Use that whole torso. All right, and a little shimmy. Alternating legs, pushing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with a straight leg. Pushing the legs back, lift your ribs, tummies in, shoulders back and down. Nice, good dance posture. Arms can be at your side, they can be out in second. You can throw them up in fifth. We've got fourth, other fourth, fourth to the front, other fourth. <laughs> and then if you drop your upper arm, we have a horizontal fourth and to the other side. We have lots of fourths to hit. Just remember, fourth position for the arms is the capital letter L. So you can do it this way, this way, this way, all kinds of different ways. And it's good to create movement on top of your shimmy so you get used to doing the shimmy without thinking about it so much. Do other things, right? We went through some isolations before in another class and that's always good to do. All right, push your weight forward into the balls of the feet, a little bit of the choo-choo shimmy. And let's come forward and then around. That gets us going, gets your thighs going. Let's do the other way so we make a figure eight. And flat foot. There we go. Good, good, good. All right, let's look at some twist techniques. So your twists are done with your transverse abdominis reaching across the hip like a big belt. And then your diagonal obliques. These all work together to twist your hips. So your hip twist looks like so. It's a horizontal movement. We used to call it the washing machine agitator. So you may not be old enough <laughs> to remember, but washing machines used to have an agitator and it went left and right, right? It went left, right, left, right, and the top. Well, now things spin and tumble and you may not even know what I'm talking about, but if you remember that old agitator, it goes left, right, left, right, left, right. So how do we get into this? You want to use the right muscles, otherwise you use too many. You start using legs and hips and then when it comes time to walk, which we're going to do in a little bit, your legs don't know what to do because they're busy trying to make the twist happen when it's the stomach muscles that should be working. So dig in there, find these muscles. Start by doing the old, you may not be old enough for this either, but the old fashioned twist, you may have seen it in movies, this dance where everything twists side to side. Once you do it for about 15, 20 seconds. So you feel how your hips are pivoting to the front. All right, now stop your feet and stop your arms. So you were just eliminating some parts. So it starts out the whole body going. Get the arms out, put your feet down, and what's left? Your abs. Shift your weight slightly forward on your foot so you don't use your legs. If your legs are bending and straightening, Start again, straight legs and twist. We count the twists by the number of times each hip goes forward. We put the down beat on one hip or the other. So we'll get into that in a second here, but I just want you to twist. Now with this twist consistently going, step wide to your left and shift your weight. The right foot is going to shift a little bit, that's fine. Put all your weight on the left foot. Shift. And Facebook, I believe, flips the video, right? Um, I think so, so I when you say left, yeah. it's actually left. So I think when we looked at it, we went, hey, that's one bonus. <laughs> this is my right foot, and they flip us. So I believe this is your right foot as well. And switch, switch. And switch, it doesn't matter how fast your hips are going. Doesn't matter, we're just shaking it out. Now you may get a little cramp, that's normal. Take a pause, shimmy it out. 
And the little cramp gets underneath in um, underneath your rib cage up in here, next to your diaphragm, sometimes a little lower. It's usually just a little air bubble that kind of creates a cramp. So just massage it and do a couple belly rolls and just kind of breathe for a few seconds and push on it and then start again. Okay, so we get a request for music to be a little bit louder. Okay, you want to go up one, like three and a half, go up to 40, 34 and a half. Okay? All right, let's one tick louder, see how that is. And then somebody said it's like a slow paint can shake a machine. It is, <laughs> you're so right! It is a paint can shake a machine. <laughs> We're shifting a little faster now. The speed is up to you. Doesn't need to go fast. The idea is we are trying to teach our bodies to do the twist with our abs so our legs can do something else. So don't worry about the tempo. We'll get into that. So now shift, put your leg forward, shift forward and back. Watch the hands because they tend to tighten up and you tend to end up like this before you know it. So loosen up your hands, shift your weight, front, back, front, back, switch, back, front, back, switch, front, back, front, back, switch, back, front, back, front. All right, we should have a few cracks out there by now. Ooh, nice and warm, nice and warm. So I'm working out. Can you guys let us know about the music if it's good? See, the S, um, let us know if the music is better, all right? Okay, so now we're going to scoot forward here. All right, let's thumbs we're, up. Okay, good. Looks so like we're good. 34 and a half then. Um, setting, right? 32, actually. Oh, because right, right, it's the opposite. Okay. 32, actually. All right, we're going to look at tempo now, all right? Actually, I'm going to turn this off yeah. for a second. There. <laughs> I just want to talk to you. So, we count it by the forward uh, beats on each hip. So everybody stay, take their right hip and put your hand there. And you're going to touch your hand. So that's going to count. Make them pretty even, right? Get your twist going. But we're going to count how many times that right hip goes forward and, call it, and create our tempo. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now try it on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can switch off. It doesn't really matter unless you're in a choreography, but you have a right lead and you have a left lead. The, the step looks basically the same. It's just where is the downbeat. So <clears throat> try to stay the same and not like if I'm on the right, don't go right, right. Make it really obvious and make the left side nothing. Keep it the same. It's just the downbeat will be right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold. Now the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold. Now cut it to four. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four. Four, switch, one, two, three, and now two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and now we make it one, 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 and rest. Good, so you have a, a basic understanding. How are we getting this hip to go forward? Anybody know? Let me do a small quiz. Oh, you can't. Let me do a small, small quiz. Let's take a moment for a small quiz. You what do you think? Like a, a so watch your body. How do you get this right hip forward? What do you do? It's not uh, exactly what you think. Any guesses? <laughs> We're going, hmm, how does that work? Well, you have two choices. You can either take that glute and push that hip forward with the glute muscle, that's correct, or you can take the opposing oblique and pull it back. That's the best answer. Did anybody get it? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> and I, everybody's dancing. Everybody's dancing. Yeah, it's okay, everybody's you stay dancing. dancing. <laughs> All right, so opposing oblique, pull back, 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 
back, and that takes the other hip forward. Now switch, pull the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. All right, so let's look at how we use this in the dance. The, the, a lot of our beats are based on triplets, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're, these um, hip twists work really well for threes because they're small movements and they can go fast, all right? So the first thing we're gonna look at is doing it in triplets and it's gonna turn into a three-quarter twisting shimmy. Yes, it is. What? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start on the right side and remember the downbeat is in the front. So we're going right, left, right. There's three. One, two, 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 three. Now, let's go a little faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. So do you see why you can't use anything but these little muscles here? Because you start going fast. And it's blah, right? Everything gets in the way. All right, let me try a tempo. And we're also going to try walking. So what's going to happen is with the one, two, three, you're going to take a single step. One, two, three. All right? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? One step for the, for the whole triple. So da, 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 da. There, okay, all right, now it's making sense. Hopefully it's making sense. All right, we'll start slow. I think we need, this is a soft song. Let's go up. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a little bit softer. Is that good? Yeah, a little bit more. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, we're taking it slow. One, three, one, two, three, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, down. And you can go fast. One step. So this is where you have to pay attention because sometimes your body runs away with you. It's doing things that you don't know it's doing. So we are going to move to three steps in a minute, but for right now, one step. Just step and hold it and twist three times. One, two, three. 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 Back it up. Back it up. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then you build your speed from there. 
A lot of it depends on if you can find your obliques and develop the strength to do it that fast. So give yourself some time to, to build up to get that speed. All right, let me see now. Um, lists are so good. <laughs> so good. In the meantime, we can say yeah. that Melissa is on as well. Oh, Melissa, Melissa which one? Melissa Calarubias. Oh, Melissa C. Yay, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so now we are going to look at um, our hip twists, changing weight with the feet. That was one, one step with three twists. Now we're going to look at three steps per twist. So it's, it's a right, a left, and a right, and we're going to shift the weight each time. So we're going to walk forward, side, rocking step. Okay. So. This is all very exciting. <laughs> She's getting this crazy app workout. Yeah, we are. We're Without doing getting any crunches. <laughs> Raise it up today. All right. And remember, just massage and breathe. The, the cramp, your body gets used to it really fast, so don't even worry about it. It's nothing. It's just, it's just a little pain. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So remember, it's all based on one, two, three, one, two, three. We did one step with three twists. We're now going to do three steps with three twists. When you twist the right hip forward, it's step right, and then left hip left, and the right hip right. And then it switches. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. All right. And I'm just using the triplet as a pattern. It can be a four, four. It can be all, any, any pattern. But this goes with our music pretty well. So the important thing here is to remember, get on a demi-releve, a little bit on the balls of your feet. As you twist forward, step on that front leg. As you twist to the other side, step on your back leg. And then your front leg again. We're going to walk forward, so it's going to look like this. You're going to go right, left, right. Now take the left one and lead. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. And going back. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. It's actually, I think this is easier. For me, oh, yeah. this one that we just did, it's kind of hard. But this one here with the step, your step goes with your hip every time. So you don't even have to think about it. When the right hip goes, the right foot goes. When the left hip goes, the left foot goes. So right, left, right, left. But we do it in a diagonal pattern because as you can see, this looks a little weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> a little odd looking. A little bit but like a little strange. Movies, yeah, a little strange. So to make it look more dancey, belly dancey, we do it on an angle, so forward, back. Right, left, right, left, right, left. When you step on the right foot and you're ready to change, just hold for a beat. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so let's look at walking with that and some different foot patterns, all right? Okay, let's see. Can't remember if this is the right song or not. <laughs> If you can raise your right hand, because she's yes. a little confused about the. Okay, this is my this right. Is the right side. So okay. Hold it up for a little bit. Is this everybody else's right? So if you put up your right, I think it's going to be. Did, if Facebook switches, then this will be the right, your right hand. If it's not, then this will be your left. Um, I, we have a tiny bit of a delay, so before okay. I can see. Okay. Um, I'll see in just a moment. Okay. Okay, so we're mirror image. All right. So when you say right, it is right for them. Oh, good. All right, that makes we, it better. We're in mirror image. Yeah. So when we say right, this is right. Uh -huh. But then it's right for everybody else. Okay. When we say left. Because we see it the other way around on the camera. So yeah. We're, it's a little confusing yeah. for us, yeah. but when you say right, it's yeah. right. Yeah. So, um, Okay. Can you Shoot press right. open and close it again on the right, the right button, just the right side, upper right. Yep, and just open it up and put it back in and then I'll get it started again. All right, so it's not as important because we're not doing the choreography. So, but we are on the same foot. So we're going to go right, left, 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 right, left. All right?
Okay, so good. All right. Good, good. All right. So we're all good on the direction. Yeah, we're on there. This is good. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Good. For going along with us on there. We are figuring this out. <laughs> okay. So let's look at going forward. Stay on the angle. Forward. One, two, three, four. If you really want to get technical, we're doing little baby chasses. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Left, right. Left, right, left. Back it up. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And you just step right beside yourself. There. So that's anywhere you can take three steps, you can go with this move. I'm just throwing out the more common ones. All right, let's slow it down a bit. Put your feet one in front of the other. So if your right foot is in front, you're going to travel to your left. So we twist forward on the right, back on the left. We're going to go with the four of four. So it's not going to be one, two, three, one, two, three. It's going to be one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Forward, forward, right, left, right. Now travel to your left. no big rule, but I just want you to get the idea of you're going to rock forward and back on your foot, and you're going to travel to the side. Now stay facing the same way, cross your other foot, and travel. Watch the arms on this one, because they do tend to flop around, right? So keep an eye on them. Switch over. I'm going to turn around. One more switch. There we go. Okay. So that's traveling to the side using single hip, single step. Right? One hip, one foot. They go together. All right. Let's look at the rocking step. It's called the rocking step because you shift your weight forward and then you shift your weight back. So your body rocks forward one foot and then it rocks back on the same foot. So take a leg, I'll take my right, forward on the right, step back on your left, now step back on your right and forward on your left. So you're going, it's if you think of it as a front, a middle, and a back, front, middle, back, middle, front, middle, back, middle. That's easier than right, left, right, left, I think. It's like, ugh, doesn't want to, you don't want to do it all the time. So switch legs. Front, middle, back, middle. Front, middle, back, middle. Front, middle, back, middle. Can you do triplets with this? Yes. Can you do singles? Yes. <laughs> Let's try it. All right, I'm going to shift over to this, my left leg. So let's try singles. One, two, three, four. One hip, one foot. One, two, three, four. 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 One more. All right, so you just twist one time. If you do a triplet, each time you take a step, you're going to twist three times. 
So guess what the name of the step is? The pullback step. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So right? complicated. So, so complicated. So the hip twist going forward again. Forward one and two and three and pull. Now pull back. One, two, three, four. And that means that the front portion of the move is soft. It's not emphasized. You're going to take that front oblique, tuck it in, pull, uh, pull back, and that emphasizes the back portion. Most steps have a front and a back, or a side and a side. And so when we emphasize the other side, it gives you a whole different look, right? So let's try them with each other so you get the idea. Front, two, three, pull. Now same hip, pull back. One, two, three, four. Other side. Front, two, three, four. Pull back. One, two, three, four. Good job. What happens to your foot? Your feet stay the same placement. So when you're going forward, your weight is on the front foot. When you pull back, your weight just shifts to your back foot. And the, the one that's supporting? And the one that's pushing in the front is um, half of a weight change. Just a small amount of weight because it's soft. The main uh, emphasis is in the back. So the back foot will remain flat. The front foot, mind elevates slightly onto the ball of the foot. Is that what you're doing? Yes. Okay. Well, back, 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 back. So since it's pulling back, this step is used to go backwards or to turn. So walk forward, pick a hip, doesn't matter which hip. Push it forward, now pull back. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward. Other hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull back. The weight is still shifting, but instead of going front and front and front and front, it goes back and back and back and back. The feet do essentially the same thing. Your emphasis is just behind you. Pick your right hip again, pull back. Notice the way your hip is twisting. It's twisting to your right. What if, not a big what if, we allow that twist to take us around? It'd be super cool. Let's go one more time. <laughs> so do you feel that? Your hip, the twist of your hip is actually, so if I do it kind of slow, forward and twist. Forward, twist, forward, twist, and pull back, and pull back, and pull back. Every time I pull back, I inch my way around with the twist of the hip, the momentum. My hip is turning me. All right, pick the same side, then we'll switch sides. Forward, pull back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. Forward and back. Two, three. Four, five, six, one more time. Same side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Pull me, back step. Let me check if we have any questions. Okay. okay. Oh, that, that was looking good. So I wanted to mention also, um, Andrea, thank you for sending me that video. You can do, you know, this class stays on Facebook, so you can play it again. Set up your phone, record yourself, and send me it via Messenger. She sent me like a little two-minute clip of the, the lesson that we did last, last week. week. yeah. She nailed it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, all of you are welcome to do that. Just if, if this is kind of awkward or if you think it's looking really good, just film yourself and send it to me via Messenger, and then I can critique and make comments. So I can't see you in person, but I can definitely help that way. So it's a great option. Because um, I really do have uh, plenty of time. <laughs> I have loads of time. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at a step called the eight count. It's going to combine a couple different things. It's more of an intermediate slash advanced step, but I think you're totally ready. And some of you students may remember it from a while back. But what's going to happen is it's Eight counts total, so that's why it's called an eight count. It's a step um, devised by Suhela Salampour, a very famous dancer, one of my instructors. So she did, this is one of her famous steps, and I latched onto it, and I absolutely love it. 
So what's going to happen is you're going to pick a hip. We'll pick the right one again. You're going to put it on the forward diagonal. I want you to take six steps, starting with your right. At the end of six, your right hip is going to be at the back diagonal. So it's going to travel. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Shoulders are not moving, right? Right hip forward on the diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shoulders are still square. This is not a full body experience, right? It is only a hip experience. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's going to happen with that hip? Because this looks kind of boring. <laughs> we're going to just push the hip side, side, or up, down. Whatever is comfortable. Hold yourself square. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right? Diagonal, right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, where does the twist come in? <laughs> Here it is. Take your right hip and do two giant twists. Forward, back. That's seven, eight. So, shoulder square, diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Isn't that cool? I love, you remember I that? remember the song. Yeah, I love the old of the goodie. I love it. The main trick is get those six counts. Keep your shoulders as square as you can because when they start moving, it, the, the step loses its integrity. So try to hold yourself as straight as you can. And we'll switch to the other side in a second. Ready on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Making sense? Hopefully. Let's try it on the left. Left hip forward on a diagonal. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right? Six is on the opposite hip. Take your left hip, swing it forward, seven, pull back, eight. That's why I showed you the pull back step because you're going to do one giant, right? You're going to pull. You're going to go forward, pull. That's seven, eight. So it's, it's six little hip shifts in one place and then one giant pull back step to finish off the eight count. Side again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! <laughs> good job. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a really good one. All right, so these are just some things. It's kind of endless what you can do with twists. And I just wanted to show you some of my favorites. And they get a little more complicated as we go through the lesson. That eight count is definitely the more intermediate, advanced one. But Jeff, now you've got it recorded, so you can come back to it if it didn't make sense this time. So we're going to finish up with learning how to do down hips. When we dance, very often our hips are up in a three-quarter shimmy, or we push, or we lift. But every now and then, they're down. You see the difference? It's really, it's a cool move. Down, 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 down. So there's a trick. So the first beginning of this is pretend you're a penguin, right? <laughs> So true. You know how penguins walk. So true. Right? <laughs> so what they do is, if you study penguins much, when they you take know everyone, <laughs> does. everyone does. When they take a step on, on one uh, what is it? Paddle? <laughs> one webbed foot. <laughs> Their weight goes there. And then the other one. So you can see they, if this is my hip line, they go down. And if you're old Batman fans. If you remember the penguin, that's how he walked, right? So think about putting your weight down on the stepping foot. So straighten your legs, lock them. The other key important thing is keep your feet flexed. So when you press down on one side, your flexed foot lifts off the ground on the other side. If you, by chance, relax your foot or point your toe, you're going to end up doing this. <laughs> you're going to change it. Your body just... It, it, it doesn't like this step. This step is, it will get a hold of it, but it's a challenge, all right? So, weighted leg that you're stepping on, opposing foot, flex it, lift it off the ground. With those two elements, you're going to get this. So, step, weighted leg, and flat foot lifts off the ground. 
off the ground on the opposing side. <laughs> it's very graceful right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm you can hear how loud you yeah. are. There's no music. So. Yeah, I'm just going to stay right here because I want you to see my feet. So each time I take a step, you'll see I'm going to put my hands here so you see the hip goes down and the opposing foot comes off the ground. Really, really important. Flex your foot, lift the whole thing off the ground. If you have a mirror, make sure that you're not lifting just your heel, uh, then it will uh, kind of sabotage the step, all right? So down, 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 down. And then what we're gonna do is just go through that same pattern, all right? So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Down, 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 down. down. Rocking step, front, middle, back, middle. Anything you can do with the other hip, any hip, you can do with your feet, you can put this on top of it. We did three-quarter shimmy, we did twists, we can do up hips, right now we're doing down hips. It also helps to put your hands on your hips and every time you take a step, push your hip into the ground. That will remind it, oh yeah, I need to drop down. And what's going to happen on the other side is that foot should be in the air, 100% in the air. No contact with the floor on the other side. Down, 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 rocking step. Forward, middle, back, middle, forward, middle, back, middle, forward, middle, back, middle. Side by side, and around we go. Down, down. Pick up the other foot, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You got to look, you got to make sure because your foot might lie to you. It's, you think it's up and it's not. Get it all the way off the floor. The attention is on the stepping foot. Push down, down. Rocking step. Forward, middle. Back, middle. Now side to side. So you're just stepping. Turn around. <laughs> side to side. There we go. Turn around. Okay, and then our big fancy step for the last one. I can't stop. <laughs> I love this step. Now, actually, let me just progress a second. Are we, is it always going to look like this? I sure hope not. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'm doing the down step now, is it right? No. Eventually, you'll get it. See, you'll get it, and you'll be able to do it. Da, 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 and it'll look a lot more graceful. And the difference is when you learn, you learn flat with your heels, making the noise. When you actually get it, go into releve, but you have to promise that the thing about releve is the opposing foot doesn't always lift off the ground. So you have to remember, you almost have to think about lifting the other side. And then it looks a lot more graceful and then you don't get this rocking motion with your body. <laughs> yeah, you don't waddle as much. All right, we're going to take this step straight on you're going to slowly turn at an angle, and we're going to end up doing it on a diagonal, stepping down, so the, the hip is still going down, but you're going to end up traveling backwards. Ah, I'm back. I'm coming back. This is the coolest step, but it's tricky. All right, so how do we get into this? So we're going to go... I'm going to take my left side facing the camera and I'm going to travel backwards with my left foot behind me. We're going to start square. Now, just turn yourself around. Don't change anything. Don't change a thing. Keep going. Now, put your left foot behind you. See how it adjusts your hip by itself. Don't go anywhere. Just put that back there and still do. So we're doing the same down step on an angle. Now step back. 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 It's so cool. It's really, it's just like, how are they doing that? I love, when I first saw this step, I was just, oh, I love this. All right, one more time. It's just one of those like floating yeah. on top ones. It's a floaty one. happening at the bottom. It's a floaty one. All right, so other side. Down, 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 turn. Put your lead foot, which is the right this time. Step behind yourself, pick up your opposing foot, and back, 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 back. Ah, yay! <laughs> Woo! Okay, we did a good one. <laughs> we did it. Can we do that to yeah. the music? Um, well, not so much. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it here.
there. Oh, okay. Uh, we had trouble with the space on my phone, yeah. so I want to make sure that make we can sure record this in high def. But same downbeat, so it's going to be now the back foot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So practice, practice. You can send me tapes of this one. Send me videos on your phone. And at real, I mean, we review stuff always. I'm just going to go through a lot of things. But this is on my list. We'll come back to it. All right. Any specific questions? Let me know. Um, Everybody just said um, that well, they're enjoying it, and okay. then Cheers said it's like meringue, which is true. Yeah, it is. It and is. then there was a oh, I want a lemon meringue now. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's so great. <laughs> so this will be up. This video will stay on Facebook. It'll be up on YouTube in a couple of days. Yep. Um, make sure you put your notifications on. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Malia Nelson. Yeah, if you just look for Malia Nelson, it's actually super easy. YouTube.com yeah. slash user slash Malia Nelson. Yeah, and that's pretty, it. Nice pretty, and easy. Yeah, pretty easy to find. Um, and then the next class will be? Next class is Saturday at 6. And uh, let's see, what else do we have to go through? Anything? I think that's oh, it. Oh, thank you again, Angelica, yes. for the music. It's Angelica Unveiled. We've used it before. It's one of my favorite CDs of all time. Yeah. All right. And then, um, yeah, the, the video will be up on YouTube in a couple days. And if you want to um, make a donation, the information for that, oh, we'll yeah. put it all in. If you, yeah, if you can, Venmo is great. Uh, that's much appreciated. And then we'll put links to the YouTube channel and to Venmo, and like we'll put the info in the description when you, once we've downloaded and uploaded yeah. and all that stuff. All that we'll stuff. We'll add that. <laughs> and I think all that's right. it. Thank you so thank much. Everybody. This was fun, sweaty. This Me. was good. Yeah, this was a good ab workout. So thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time.